Welcome to the basic Excel tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you most of the basic that need to know. First, we have to click on the search. This is the search area. We have to click here. Then we have to type here Excel. Press enter. Here we can see different types of Excel sheets. We have to click on the Excel blank workbook. First we have to study the layout in the Excel. In this top area we can see the tabs. File, Home, Insert, Page Layout, Formula, Data, Review and Views. When we click on the tabs like this tab uh, we can see the ribbon these are the areas it is called ribbon these are the areas in this ribbon we can see the groups these are one group this is another groups these are the important terms which we need to know for the beginners we want to know what is tab what is ribbon what is groups in this bottom of the group, we can see the launch button. Say this. This is the launch button. Same like here also. There is another launch button is there. Because of the space limit in the ribbon, Microsoft has added the launch button to give more options. This is a spreadsheet. In this spreadsheet, it is made of columns and rows. And we can see column A, column B, column C likewise here. And rows 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the rows. The intersection of rows and columns produce a cell. This is a cell. Every cell is having names. This cell name is A1. This is A and this is 1. So this one is A1. Here it is B1. See it is B and this is 1. Click here. This is P. See this. This is highlighted. P5. With the help of cell name while doing the formula it will be very easy. The second part is the range. It is a group of cells. It has to be each other. Say this. This is a cell. Now this is a range. This is one cell and this is another cell. Now it become a range. Starting from E3 and ending G5. This is a range. The third part is sheets. We can add many sheets in this excel sheet sheet number one by clicking here we can add the next sheet now it's sheet number three actually i have deleted the sheet number two now sheet number four sheet number five we can add many sheets each sheet added together to create a workbook let's update the data in the worksheet first i'll make a title for this sheet i will type the details here Supplier detail. Supplier detail. Details. You notice my text is bigger than the cell. Just press enter. While seeing in this sheet, we will think the data are in two cells A and B. Actually, it is not true. This data is stored in cell number A, A1. I can type the data in B1 and press enter. Just go to this A1. See this, there is no changes. We can see the data here. I will remove this data from this cell. Just press delete. If I need to fix the data in the same cell, just click on the top. Just click on the top and double click see this it's now it's in the same cell this is the one option there is another option is there see this this is undo control is it if we need to go back just click it here say this it is the previous stage 
So what we have to do is click on wrap test. The data is in the same cell. I am undoing this and clicking here. Now the data is in the same cell. If I need to move to the next cell, just press enter. In this cell, I will update the details. A2. I will type serial number. Serial number. If I need to go to B2, just press tab. If you are pressing tab, it will go to the right side. Second cell, I will type supplier name. So this double click then the third cell just press tab mode of purchase next column total VAT and the next column total amount then press enter Say this, we cannot see the full details in C, D column. We cannot see the full details what we have typed. So do one thing, just select these three cells and just double click here. Now we can see the full details what we have typed. If we need to move to the left side of the sheet, just press shift tab. If we need to move to the right, we can just press tab like this. We need to go back to the left side press shift then tab serial number one then press enter if we need to go to the next cell two then again enter three so if we need to go if we need to go to the next cell just press tab if we need to go up shift enter i will update the details here supplier name abc general trading LLC press enter so it has moved on cash customer press enter AIN trading we need to go to the right just press tab so I will update all the details here right now I have updated the details by typing in the cells if we need to move to the next cell we can use the arrow key as well if we need to move to the right just press the arrow key right arrow key we need to move to the left left arrow key the, the top and just press the top arrow key and down same down arrow key instead of just pressing enter if we need to move so we understood how to update the data in the excel suppose if we need to change the details in this cell so what we have to do just press it here and we have to double click with the help of the mouse so this d we need to remove and and put as capital d just press delete and we can just press capital d and enter it has changed another example suppose if you are typing on this cell means if you are typing 4 so the 3 it is already removed press enter that is a difference between on the cell and in the cell so I'll just go back the next area is formatting the content now see this this supplier detail it is only in cell number a1 so if you are selecting like this with the help of the mouse and go to merge click it here now it came to the center if we need to change the font of this data first we have to just click it here then with the help of the mouse select then here just press we can choose the font different different fonts see this if you are changing one by one automatically changing i am selecting this one then press ok it's a different format and we can change the size as well because of the size we can just click it here by double clicking here it will be appearing like this and we can put the border by clicking here and go to the file press print so we can see the format like this and we can print we can give the print option go back 
if we need to give any color just press here and we can give the color press here according to the color also we can just give thank you for watching my channel please like comment subscribe